Hey friends, I'm Dr. Justine Shuey. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint the Ivy Tech Titan. For this painting, we're going to start with our background. So for our background on this particular painting, I used a whole lot of white with a little bit of my fallow green, and I blended that together. And it is a very light background. You can feel free to change this up. On the second painting you're going to see in this video, I used a gray background instead. So feel free to use any color you want for your background, but you should paint your background first. So I was uh, pretty careful to go around uh, my Titan for this painting, and uh, I just went in and uh, filled it in with almost a solid color, but then I went back in and adjusted a little bit just to give it some texture. So I added little bits of white and little bits of green, um, and then I you know, added a little bit more later after the painting had uh, started to dry. So uh, once you're done with your background, uh, you're going to start on some of your main colors of your Ivy Tech Titan. Next, we're going to get started on our main colors of our Titan. So I'm going to start with the fallow green, and I'm going to paint all those areas that are green. And I'm just giving it a first coat right now, and I'm going in and I'm going to do the cape. I'm going to do the details on the armbands. I'm going to do the ivy on the face shield, uh, the little bands on the, uh, on the legs. And I'm going to go through and fill those in. And I'm going to actually give them a couple of coats to make them really pop. Now, the first painting that I did here, I used the fallow green just plain. I wasn't such a fan of that color when it dried, so I did adjust it a little bit in the second painting. And so I darkened it up with just a little bit of black, especially in those areas um, right uh, underneath like the arms on, on the cape where it's a little bit darker. And so I added in some of that shading. But again, it's the phthalo green. You can see just a little bit of black just to alter the color a little bit. When you go to do some highlights, uh, you can mix a little bit of white into your phthalo green and lighten it up just a little bit, uh, barely any, so just like sort of tap your brush in that white paint. But I'm going to fill in all of these green areas first before I move on to another color. And the next color that I'm going to use is this silver color for everything that has that gray silver tone on this painting. So, uh, you know, I uh, definitely blended some uh, white into my silver. I later blend a little bit of black into that silver so that you can have that shading and it gives the Titan a little bit of shape and texture. So I fill it all in and again that silver color on its own tends to be pretty transparent so I highly recommend blending another color into it. The great thing about acrylic paint is that uh, you could just keep painting over it so you can give your painting more coats, you can adjust it. If you don't like something, uh, you can add more color to it. If you put some paint on there and you're not really feeling it, Clorox wipe or baby wipe will take it off. You could see now I'm going in with that darker shade of the silver in there and just darkening some areas up. And I'm painting right over lines. I did start by sharpening my painting, and so that definitely helped the process along. Uh, you're going to detail at the very end by outlining again with your Sharpie, and so you want to make sure that uh, you really can see those lines. So it will definitely help uh, to do that. Now I'm going in and I'm you know, filling in all these different areas. Uh, with that silver, I kind of go back and jump back as I'm waiting for sections to dry with um, you know, the green again, and now I'm going in with the black uh, along the pants. There's a little bit of black on the arms and then anywhere that needs some detail. When we go at the end to re-outline, you can either use the black paint or you can use a black paint marker or a Sharpie, whatever you've got there. And I acknowledge that it doesn't actually look like a Titan until that very end when you outline it. So trust the process on this painting and give it some time uh, to make sure that you're um, you know doing all those details before you decide whether or not you like your painting so i'm going back in and i'm adding some shading and some texture by 
either making it a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. So like right now, one side of the sword is darker than the other side of the sword. Uh, I adjusted on the chest. You can see I added some dark areas on the legs uh, and the feet. I lightened up, you know, generally the top tends to be lighter with our highlight colors and our bottoms tend to be shadows or shaded with a slightly darker version. So just something to keep in mind there. And again, that just sort of makes your painting look a little fancy at the end. I'm giving it a second to dry here because you need your painting to be super dry before you use your Sharpie on it. If you don't uh, dry it, you definitely will ruin your Sharpie. So give your painting a second to dry and then you can go back in with your Sharpie and outline everything. So right now I'm outlining sort of the feet there, but I'm going in and cleaning up my lines, cleaning up my edges. You don't have to be perfect with your painting because you're gonna go back there and fix it up later. And it's really going to make a difference in the grand scheme of things. So clean it all up, outline it, touch it up, and uh, you're gonna have a really nice Ivy Tech Titan at the end of this. Now, the version that you have of the Titan is more of a close-up version, so you don't actually have the legs and the feet on yours, but uh, you do have the upper body with the torso and the head, uh, head shield and the sword and all of that. So I'm about to show you uh, the second Titan that I painted, which is the same one that you had, and I'm going to walk you through this process one more time just a little bit faster uh, and explain all those steps all over again. So uh, when you're ready, I want you to go ahead and Sharpie your Titan so that you have some lines to start with. All right, so I want you to go ahead and Sharpie that Titan and then you're gonna go in and start your background. So you can decide what color again that you want your background to be for my Ivy Tech Titan. I did the first one with a whole lot of white and a little bit of green. For this one, I'm doing more of a gray color for the background. So I blended a lot of white and a little bit of silver into it. And it'll be sort of a little difficult to even see that color on there uh, on the screen. But I assure you, it is gray and you will see it at the end. Now, finish up your background. And same thing like I did with the green, I'll go back in with little bits of white and some little bits of silver and give that background a little bit more texture. So again, let it dry and uh, texture it up a little bit so it's not all one complete solid color. You also wanna make sure that there are no ridges or bumps of paint that will make it difficult for the paint to dry. You wanna make sure your paint is all smooth and get those little areas in between like the sword and the arm and things like that. They're little bits in between the arm and the cape. Uh, that you want to make sure that you put some color into. So again, do your whole background first. You can touch it up later if you need to, but do that entire background before you start working on the color. And as I did with my first Titan, I am going to start with my Bello Green. And this time, I'm just going to add a little bit of black into that Bello Green to darken it up uh, when we get started. That'll uh, give me some less coats to do for this Titan here. So I'm just mixing up some paint and uh, doing that cape in there again. That's a slightly darker green than the first time that I used. You can adjust it however you want. It is your painting. You are the only person that gets to decide what goes on your canvas. So I'm filling that in and uh, if you could see, I actually painted over where there's supposed to be an arm, but that's okay. I'm gonna put some black in there later and uh, going in doing the base of the sword there with that green color. And I'm going to make sure that all the different uh, little areas on the shoulder pads are filled in with the green as well, giving them those accents. I'm going to do the face. And on uh, this tracing, I didn't put in all of the um, big sections for some of those details on the arms, but we're going to go in and add them back when we do the rest of our painting. So uh, I'm doing the ivy there and I wanna make sure it's good and has good coverage. So I'll go back in and do a couple of coats on 
each of these sections just so that they really, really pop and they're really smooth. You can do as much or as little paint as you want. I personally like to make sure that there's really good coverage on my paintings when I do them. So I tend to uh, do more paint on mine than most people. But again, it is your canvas. You are the only person that gets to decide what goes on that canvas. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit of paint next for the areas that have the gray silver color on there. So I'm taking my silver and blending it with a little bit of white to get started. And I'm going to go back in and fill in all of the areas that are going to be silver. And I'm going to go give them each a couple of coats and uh, fill all those areas in. Forgot to paint the belt, so I'm doing that green as well. Uh, and again, we're going to go in with those silver colors, uh, like I'm doing on the very, very bottom right there. And the hands, the arms, uh, all the different areas are going to be silver mixed with a little bit of white for now. And then later, I'll add some shading that gives them uh, a little bit of silver with just a little bit of black. Um, to, again, help give my Ivy Tech Titan a little bit of shape there. Remember, the sword is going to be two-toned, so you could do everything first in the one solid color. That's the lighter color or a mid-grade color, and add some little bits that are lighter and some little bits that are darker to give it texture and shape. So, I am... Uh, blending it up and just again touching up, making sure that it's got really good coverage on all the different areas. And again, silver on the chest, that's the silver mix with the light color, filling that all in, giving it really good coverage, doing the right underneath the face shield and head, and I'm going right over those lines. You can't see them really well on the uh, screen right now, but I can assure you I can still see the lines underneath, and as your paint dries, those lines will pop through a little bit more. So sometimes the Sharpie is really hard to cover with the paint, um, but if you give it a couple of coats, it should show, it should not show through anymore. So again, I'm going in and doing the, um, areas on the shoulder um, armor there and filling all that in with that silver. I went right over the lines because I need to clean up those little swords that are on the shoulder pads there. But again, good coverage and I'm making sure it's all filled in with the silver um, before I move on to some black uh, to do the areas of the uh, arms in there and darken up and then go back to give it some shadows and things like that. So um, again, first I want to darken up and uh, do a slightly darker shade underneath on that handle of the sword. You can see I'm darkening up some areas on the arms there. And I usually will do the one base color and then I'll go in with a slightly darker shade and then I go back with the original color or a lighter color um, just to help with that blend on that and I'm giving some shadows on the chest as well. And I will, uh, again, add those detail lines back in with a Sharpie or a paint marker later. Um, but I still do want to give some shadow color to those areas um, just to, again, give my Ivy Tech Titan some shape. So darkening up the side of the sword that's going to be darker, lightening up the other side with a little bit of white, um, and we'll add some highlights of white or lighter shades in at the tail end. I added a little bit of lighter into that um, green sword. I'm putting little pops of lighter green in the uh, cape there and then the belt to just give it a little bit of texture and shape and it'll help, um, you know, really make your Ivy Tech Titan come alive in this painting. So I'm going back in with green and doing those details on those armbands and putting those in there. There aren't actually places to fill in. You're just going to go over the lines with that to give it little pops of color. And uh, again, 
going in and making sure everything's got good coverage, it's smooth, cleaning up those edges there, and giving it a second to dry between some of these steps. Uh, and a lot of times you'll notice that I'm going back to areas that I've already done and that's just, again, helping to make sure it's all looking good and smooth. I'm putting those the, the black area in on the arms there. And the other arm is hard to see, but I did put a little bit of black in there for that arm just to, again, give it a little bit of shape, a little bit of texture there. And then the bottom of the sword, a little bit of black. Top of the helmet, a little bit of black. And at the tail end, uh, after I'm happy with all the shading that I did, I'm going to let it, again, dry really, really well before I go back in with those outlines with a Sharpie. I'm adding in some white highlights, as you could see in areas. So tops of the canvas are going to have those white areas in it, whereas it's a little darker on the bottom. You can see I pulled my fan in to let it dry really well for a couple of minutes before I use a paint marker or Sharpie. If you try to go over wet paint with your Sharpie or your paint marker, I can assure you, you will ruin your marker. So uh, make sure it's really good and dry before you go in and do that final touch-ups with the Sharpie, cleaning up your edges, outlining things, making it look a little neat and fancy. And again, just cleaning it up and... Uh, there you go. So that is our Ivy Tech Titan. I hope you had fun painting this painting. This was a really fun one for me. It was different and I really liked it. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, please do send me pictures of your finished paintings. I would love to see them. I'm Justine um, from Painting with Justine. My email is paintingwithjustine at gmail.com. You can find me online, paintingwithjustine.com. Um, so anything you need, reach out anytime. I would love to paint with you. Again, we paint on Zoom at least twice each week, uh, and my events are open to the public. So join us uh, to paint sometime again soon. And again, please do send me pictures of your finished paintings. I would love to see them. Thanks, everyone. Have a fabulous day.